We didn't forget about Joe Schmo. You did. In the relentless pursuit of being relentlessly pursuitive, we're continuing with the Joe Schmo show. Let's go. Go for Joe Schmo. Previously on the Joe Schmo. Let's try to remember what we watched and told Matt about. There was a guy that didn't know he was the only real person on the show and everyone else is an actor. Yeah. Matt took beatboxing to a new level. Oh, right. Now they like, they were all supposed to act all impressed and stuff. Right. Shocking performance and one immunity. FYI, I pissed in the whirlpool last night. Uh -oh. And Earl's eviction. Can hit oh, that's right. That's the show in jeopardy. Earl, you're dead to us. <laughs> I love right that now, part. Every show should do that. And he's taking it so real for some reason. We should do that on this show. Every week, just we throw each other's plate in there. Eliminate each other? Right. <laughs> he's crying over an actor. Fake. I guess it means you got a good performance, right? You're creating TV's most elaborate experiment. Or he is getting very damaged. Yeah. They prodded right. your every move. Record oh, human beings get damaged every day. Who cares? So there's another show. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to move right past that. <laughs> but, you know. You know. I'll move past it now. Uh, so there's another show called Jury Duty. And uh, right. it's on Amazon. Did you watch it? No, I've heard about it though, that it's basically this. I watched it. They did a lot of this, but better because they didn't put themselves into such tight spots to where if the subject didn't do something they wanted, it would like ruin the whole show. Right. They figured, they learned a lot from this kind of show mm -hmm. uh, and did it even better to where it's, a, it's not as dark and the actors don't feel as bad because they're not outright lying to them in like all the time. Well, maybe the show has less of an impact then. It does. This, yeah. this is way uh, edgier in uh, terms of like the battle between evil producer, should we be watching this? And wow, this is a fun train wreck, let's watch it anyway. Right. The cast and crew make the risky decision to continue with the show as planned. Yeah, they make the risky decision. The risky decision to they're, fulfill their contracts. They're doing everything. They're gonna do the BTS. First off, we obviously had a very emotional reaction last night. To that end, we're gonna be moving a little faster. The challenge, not only to our crew, but to you guys, is that the story beats are gonna to have to come a little more fast and furious. Let's twist the knife faster. All right. And they have those interviews going on, and they have that going on while he's being interviewed. Right. I tried as hard as I could to fight it, and I couldn't help it. Um, you know, Earl's speech was so touching. No, no, it wasn't. They like slow motion sepia tone. I know his reaction. Like maybe he doesn't have like friends in real life to where these are his only friends. It feels a little sadder than it should be. Remember, you're cut off from everyone and everything. Right. So all the people you used to like call up to make fun of me, the people that I talk to privately to make fun of you, like all those people are cut off. It's like one person. The people and don't want to vote. I don't. I don't know anyone. <laughs> I think that all culminated. Last Actually, I call you to make fun of you. <laughs> yeah. That's fair, right? It's fun. You know, I can dissociate. <laughs> like the rest of your personality, just pack it away. Like, Tell me more about that fat asshole. <laughs> Hutch, have slept together. Where were you this morning? You know, Hutchie got a little action last night. I'm talking about. I got a little action. Let me just put it this way. They are really going fast now. They're trying to say, they're trying to introduce that Hutch slept with Dr. Pat last night. Okay. After Matt had this horrible breakdown and everyone felt so bad, right. then he went and banged Dr. Pat. I got my head examined thoroughly. I'm on her nerves. Uh, uh. I think we should talk to you about this. Whatever, dude. How, how is he getting the salad like that? <laughs> Stabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do it. Opened up to each other. She opened up to me. Literally, dude. <laughs> I had a breakthrough. I broke through her pants, <laughs> her underwear, and her labia. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked up with Dr. Pat and, like... I could hang out with him. <laughs> he was kissing and telling, like, from what he said, you know? Is anyone thrilled by this? Yeah, Matt. Hutch is 
nasty. And I, and Dr. Pat is not. She has class, and even yesterday she wanted to vote Hutch off. And he smells, and she's so cute. Why are my dolls out here? Oh, she has to act like she. Extra Parmesan cheese? Yeah, please. <sighs> what well, we did. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that kind of private? You know, uh, you know what? This everything's out in the open. It's cool. There's no reason. For they're really, they're. And then Dr. Uh, Pack. I don't know if it's because I have super grip in my head. They're fisting this right through <laughs> the show. Um, Dr. Pat acknowledged that they may have. I don't know. <laughs> All weird. Like I gotta wait till next season. He's just confused by everything. Everything. Like they both literally said that they did it. He's like, I and don't he's, know. He's like, eh, eh. the dolls. <laughs> the dolls don't even have genitalia. How can they do it? I am, but you're embarrassing me. Hmm? I wasn't sure if he was hurt by it. You know, I want to track him down and get a lot of life advice from him. <laughs> don't you think that'd be great? He, he could really help out a lot of people on what they should be doing. We're going to ram into each other. It's going to be hilarious. We're going to look hilarious, and it's going to be great. So in the lap of luxury show, what better way to compete for that luxury lifestyle than to get into sumo suits and smash into each other? I'm not sure I'm not offended by these suits. Are they going to make Japanese sounds? They shouldn't. They shouldn't do that. I mean, Hutch can because he's supposed to be offensive. Look, for the record. That's his character. Yes. I had because I mean. <laughs> and if they did a Mexican thing and they all had giant sombreros and fake mustaches and danced around to La Cucaracha, I mean, who cares? I'm not, I wouldn't be. Sick to my stomach a little bit. What? What is she crying about? So the, the speech that we just gave each other? Right, that's right. <laughs> She actually got claustrophobic, the actor. You gotta get me out of here right now. I don't know what it was. I got panicked. And she Hello? cannot do the game. So. She has Japanophobia. Whoa. I'll just, here, give me your hand. <laughs> if that was a Viking suit, she would have been fine. <laughs> Comedic release to ease the tensions of the previous night. And what ended up, ended up happening is we ended up sending one of the actors to the hospital. And who did it? Matt. Yeah, they're going full blast into them. Matt sent someone to the hospital? See, this is what was missing from the last uh, Rock of Love. Head trauma. Is an injury during a challenge. Severe head trauma. What's funnier than that? See, he's doing it, but that's his character. Right. Oh, okay, he, he's... <laughs> Does that not look funny, people? It Can looks, it looks on, pretty funny. Focus on the funny. All right, guys, we have designed today's pampering. He didn't earn that dagger. He shouldn't be wearing that. You guys. I present to you Sumo Slam. <laughs> All right. Weirdly overcast that day. Warriors of ancient Japan. I think they're right by the ocean, aren't they? Oh. Outfits. Looks like um. Till the bitter end. Where's Lego Land? Calabasas? What am I thinking of? Members of each group will compete. Comment below if you know where Legoland is. From each group will compete in the final round. Yeah. And not the fucking one in Florida. Feel free to use any means necessary. <laughs> Aggressive towards Florida. You're allowed to try to get back on your feet and continue the fight. However, if you I don't care what the rules are. Fight! Your patent goes. Better hope it's not group one. Better hope it's not group one. The hair on the back of my neck. So this is where they also went wrong as a production team, which you don't really get until you do it, is they were doing random things. They were randomly assigning people. Oh, yeah, no. And that's a bad idea when you have a six foot three young guy. I would have put him in a row and then acted like I was randomly calling people. Or just have Matt be the last one and everyone right. fakes. Right. Oh, good. There's a helmet with offensive hair. All right, warriors, pray. I think I'm on both sides of be offended and don't be offended. I think I'm on both sides at the same time. Solid, middle of the line. Right. I don't know, yet I laugh. <laughs> I don't know, yet I laugh is exactly how oh. Yeah, dude. Out. Matt is our first winner. After he knocked Dr. Pat parallel <laughs> to the ground, and then he turns to Brian. You can see Brian pretty much just running out of the circle and uh, declaring himself the loser to avoid. He was mad at Dr. Pat for not fooling around with him. And she like, 
got a concussion. Yeah, she's down. Uh, oh shit, she is that's down. Kirsten Wig, the very famous, very talented, actually got a concussion on this goddamn. You know, show. that's what made her funnier and got her all that Saturday Night Live stuff. <laughs> like when the Kung Fury gets hit by lightning. Yeah. I woke up and suddenly I could tell jokes faster. <laughs> Oh, she's fucked up. <laughs> she literally got a concussion. Oh my god. <laughs> he, it didn't even look big, did it? It did on the slow mo the second time. I'm like, oh man, like just what I needed. He just really hurt a woman. <laughs> just what I needed. <laughs> Another assault charge against a woman. Why is the belly button like that? I don't know. Matt's looking around. I was waiting for her to say, you know, I'm an actress. I'm not Dr. Ben. Get me. <laughs> she could have, right? She's like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't need the sixty-eight dollars. <laughs> and I see just a little tear roll. Oh, look at how serious it is. I know, and look how he's dressed. <laughs> like he didn't even take it off. He just stood there. I guess it drove. Do I go again? This was a wild card. This guy was not in on the joke. <laughs> Yeah, he's huge. And you're messing with his emotions. Right, because he high. weighs like 100 pounds. Stunts and games like this that are so physical. And he has all this energy, you're right. He has right. this energy from last night. He has the energy from this morning. We had to keep going and play the game. <laughs> yeah, we also wants to win $100,000. He doesn't know that he's already won it. Yeah, put him against Hutch. Oh, yeah. I think I have to beat the Hutch because Matt wants to kill the Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a better idea. Right. But he's gonna like just decapitate the Hutch. <laughs> You're your ancestor warrior. I like how the actors are worried about the other actors. I know, right? Like, I think I think he's gonna be a wild dog and kill you. The gong and everything. That's right. Go Ashley, go kill. Now they're all. Look at the difference. Look at the from Matt's playing to I know. In my life. Man <laughs> just straight up said, boom. <laughs> Ashley, get up. You can still get up, Ashley. He's in a circle. Watch us out. Hey, diaper lady. I left you a rosebud. Oh. Kip is the winner of round two. I think I saved Hutch's life that day. Yeah. <laughs> you owe me one. <laughs> you did. Oh, I'm going to knock you down on your back. Gonna knock the accent right out of you, dude. I know, right? Battle between our two Just don't kill him, Matt. I know he won't. He's a very nice guy. But accidentally, just don't. Yeah. I'm looking at it. I mean, he's already concussed somebody, and they're sending him back out there. They're like, hey, just keep rolling. We gotta film. We gotta get this. I mean, the ambulance is already here. They can fit two people, no problem. We got a Carl's Jr. spot. We need to. We need to get this. <laughs> Brought to you by American Ambulance. This concussion's <laughs> brought to you by the new fried chicken, crispy chicken sandwich. And I couldn't find him back. I can't even be like, you know, I'm like, oh God, don't hit me. <laughs> Careful. Matt is the winner. Like he's not catching on that he wins everything. <laughs> he just thinks he's better than all these people at everything. <laughs> So, and honestly, if you... <laughs> Alright, well... I probably would have done that. Coming up next... There's just enough padding to make it, like, not... Not... Right. That way. <laughs> not what it is. <laughs> not exactly what it is. We were all relieved to find out she was going to be okay. Dr. Pat has died. <laughs> so and then they throw her plate. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have her family coming for the funeral. Fuck your plate. Matt, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> At lunchtime yesterday, Ashley said to me, well, see, I have a crush on Ralph. And she said that she believes Molly is kind of throwing herself at Ralph. Is that the host? Yeah. I don't want to be on my back when I'm near kids. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'd rather be on my back when I'm all And I'm just like, what are you doing? I appreciated Ashley confiding in me about her you know, crush on Ralph. You use some stealth moves. Like, I, I, she's my roommate. Oh, she knows that I have a crush on him. <clears throat> Time to be real, Matt, and go, yeah, shut up. I don't care about any of this. I know. I'd like to bring in a very special guest. 
please give a round of applause to our very own Dr. Pat. Down low, down low. I'm telling you, they should have made it so where she like, her personality changed. Oh, that would have been funny. Or like they find her at some places and she's like knocked out. She came in and she's Italian now. <laughs> What's she's up? like, papa da boopity. Pizza Alfredo, it's a me. I know I leveled you. <laughs> Let's see it again. Please believe me, I will not, I will not. Oh, <laughs> and she's out. She's like, no, it, It's already etched in stone for me. I want you to please take my seven day stay to Utah. No, no. I said don't I'm, say I'm no. Sorry. I started off by Are saying don't say no. And there is no question about it. Man? Wow, so he won that, who knows if it's real or not, six day, seven night stay at that place or whatever. You know, I've been to Utah. <laughs> I wouldn't go there for six days. How about for free? Nah. I mean, you know what you are. If you're in Utah, you, you get it. We know what we are in California. We're practically the roller boys. <laughs> Rival games. Who will win? Though? All right, they just jump over huge yeah. barriers. Yep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is the Texas of California. Um, sure, there's skiing. You can go to like a ski place. Sure. Because of Matt's. But that's it. Gesture. You could go rocket car racing on the salt flats. <clears throat> Again, he has a pizza delivery job and he lives with his parents and he likes to play basketball. You don't think that's a step up for him? Well, he dropped out of law school. Right. <clears throat> you thought he was doing well in law school? No, I'm saying this <laughs> is, that, that trip is amazing. Right. Opponents, now it's time to verbally assault them. Succeed in this and not only will you win today's Lord of the Manor Immunity Challenge and also earn the title of Master Debater. I may not be a master debater, but I am a cunning linguist. In this tournament style challenge... See how long it took for Kyle to think that up? Oh, I had it. I was, I was holding back on it. I was letting the show get their dialogue out so I could interject. <laughs> yeah, that'll make the cut. <laughs> Your opponent... I don't care. I say whatever. ...can't cause the speaker any pain and they can't make any noise. All right? Let's begin. Matt and Kip, why don't we get you up here first? Right. Matt and Kip. Knock his ass out. Push him on the face. Nice and easy is by far the way to go. Nice and easy can be applied to things of a sexual nature. Nice and easy can be applied to things in school like, you know, take it slow, take your time. Nice and easy. <laughs> he can't do that. Man, <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Yeah. A different time. Oh my god. I like to look Kip in the eye nice and easy. I like to <laughs> stop. All right, we got time there. Very well done. Like, if I were on that show, I'd be like, this is the lamest shit. No one's going to watch this. Why are we doing sumo stuff and then this? Well, when I meet a guy, he's so sorry. <laughs> All right, you're done. <laughs> Dr. Ben's like, I feel the top. I just got to. I just gotta <laughs> you lose. <laughs> All right, I think that's <laughs> now they gotta like fake losing. Right, Matt has to win by yeah. any means necessary. <clears throat> Molly, you'll be taking the give point of view naturally, and Ashley, you'll be taking receive. Okay, well the Bible says that it's always better to give than receive because at Christmas time you give presents because you feel. <laughs> I like to receive attention like other people do, especially when they get headshots from other people and don't play the sumo game like someone I know who didn't today because they want to talk to the host all day long. So I guess it's better to receive. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. I, you know, I don't even really remember exactly what was said. It just made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> because he does not want to be involved in any of this anymore. He just doesn't want it around him. And you beat her. You beat your time uh, 14 seconds. Congratulations, Ashley. All right, our next... <laughs> <is> <laughs> just move on. A lot, of, a lot of penis play going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Innocent days. 
Um, money is obviously the way to go because. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Ryan, I think you won that one, buddy. <laughs> so, that didn't look like acting laughing to me. And go swollen knuckle on him. I mean, oh. It's a tactic. Um, a lot of guys have used it. It's like a martial art. <laughs> it's a martial art. Some people may say. <laughs> With uh, Rock of Love, you have. 10 whores. Okay. So, so there's a lot of uh, cutting back and forth, and they're just bit, 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 and they're doing all this stuff, and then there's challenges, and then there's dates, and there's all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, always. This is like charades or Pictionary, or like this is gonna be slower. So as long as you can handle the pace, you can follow the story. But the entirety of the show is what the payoff is. Because right. You're not. We're not just watching it for like, oh, this scene sucks. It's like the actors have to play the scene and they have to lose and they have to, duh, 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 duh. everyone has to really be hyper aware of Matt. Right. The whole time, on top of doing their performance. Where does a fella go once he's gone nut? And he just absorbs <laughs> all of the attention. <laughs> like he doesn't suspect anything Nothing. that he's the center of every single thing that happens. He just thinks I'm that much closer to a hundred thousand bucks. And I like win stuff. Right. He just gave away a trip that he'll never have in his whole life. And like clearly knocked out a doctor. You're right. And like everyone was like, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. <laughs> like every person was cool with that. Yeah. Usually in some house, in something, they'd be like, look, why did you manhandle her? Why did you, you know, just, there would be something. Everyone was just like, oh, well. Right. I had my nutsack and, and, and my never you mind wedged squarely between this man's shoulder blades and uh, nothing, nothing. He kept talking as if a nude man on his back was as comfortable as aftershave in the morning. <laughs> Reality shows, have you ever seen Tina Wesson? Have you ever seen Sabrina? Have you ever seen Fear Factor? Oh, oh. Oh, that's a good point. Someone brought up Fear Factor the other day. Thank you, Beach. We should check out a couple episodes. I want to see the worst ones and I want to see the ones where stunts go wrong. Okay. I don't want to see regular Fear Factor. Yeah. Tonight's ceremony. Put your pants back on. You didn't even put them. <laughs> I like to call them. Immune from eviction tonight, but you're also the master debater. I think we can all agree on that. And I think, Brian, you, you argued very He didn't put. That's what I said. Like, it was. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's just chilling. Jokes Here, let me rub this pillow on my junk too. Let's forget which one I did that to. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, time to get serious. You hear the music. This show has moments. It does have moments. That's yeah. what I really appreciate about it. Yeah. That's something <clears throat> they kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Are those supposed to be his ashes, or is that the? You're right. Is that yeah, the plate? The plate burns. <laughs> <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Come on, man. Let's... I love this. Because in re in real life, that's you know the guy's back there. He's getting his makeup done. They're already staged and everything, and okay. they're just waiting for him. Thank you. And then he takes a big pause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Carefree in the lap of luxury. Well, for one of you, the vacation's over. One of you will be saying goodbye to high society and returning to your sad existence of working for the man. Roger. And they're terrible. <laughs> kind of want one. <laughs> We I wish we had back to the sofa collector plates <laughs> and you could like upload your picture. <laughs> God, that would be awesome. Oh, yes. Be cast into the fireplace and shattered along with your dreams of $100,000. We've already said But I want money. Earl. I like money. The, the ashes are different, but the plates are the same. <laughs> it's fine. I have a few questions to ask you. Those are real human remains. <laughs> Ashley, how's your situation with your roommate? Fine, thank you for asking. Any regrets <laughs> bearing your ass to a national audience? No, I mean, maybe if I had to watch it. But fortunately, I didn't have to see it. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
My Thank God. You. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And me and Sean have been going out for several years. And I really think you're taking my seat. Oh. My God. <laughs> oh, okay. Sean, you do know her? Um, yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> you're tuning the instrument <laughs> to VH1 levels. The immunity road. You cannot vote for him. They can't get rid of Hutch. Now, he's way too... Let me think of who the most boring one is. Yeah. Ashley's the most boring Ashley's one. Ashley's the... Dr. Pat, too. But Dr. Pat's famous. <laughs> no, not in the show. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, but still? Yeah, but still. Uh, uh, yeah. But still is where you make ass whiskey. Kirsten Wig, by the way, trooper. Yeah, Total trooper. came back from a concussion to be back on the show. She wasn't just like... <laughs> That's Ashley, not how you spell her name. It's fine. Ashley Lalo. It, no, it's not how you spell it. it. Doesn't count. I'd be taking all those things out and reading them. Let's hear more about Brian's balls. Aww. The show might be slower and all that, but one thing they did really well is get the right actors to be a part of this and be so flexible and they're they're all in service of the show mm -hmm. and that's something that i think is kind of rare uh, especially nowadays on reality shows or any kind of shows where you can have like a lot go wrong mm -hmm. some people will just take and take and all these people seem to give that's true nobody's like um overstating their status they're all there for the, to serve yeah. the show yeah a little bit of unfinished business to handle regarding today's earlier competition as we all know, Matt won the Sumo Slam, and with it, the grand prize, a week's stay. He's so serious, like, the whole thing doesn't need to be this serious. Matt very generously gave that prize to Dr. Pat. To Chris, uh, to Dr. Pat. Matt didn't know. Dr. Pat, along with your prize, comes a one-time only offer. You are certainly welcome to remain in the mansion. Take your chances with tonight's eviction ceremony and future eviction ceremonies. In your <laughs> He's like, what, what? Or you can choose to accept this one-time offer of $25,000 if you will leave the mansion tonight voluntarily. So... I mean, I'm about to take the money. You're accepting the offer. Yes. $25,000, and you leave the mansion tonight voluntarily. Yes. That way everyone can stay and. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, then know. these. <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Can't believe there was an offer that they didn't tell me about till right now. Let me read them to you. Oh, he's going to read them anyway. Yep. Hutch. Ashley. See, that's how you spell it. The Hutch. Dr. Pat. Who would, who would choose her? Hutch. Uh-oh. Yeah, it'd be Hutch. Ashley. Hutch. Had Dr. Pat not chosen to leave this evening and accept the $25,000, Hutch would have been evicted with four votes. Well, I feel like I've already said a lot of things I want to say. Um, I'm happy that by me leaving, all of you can stay. I'm not going to cry. You get to keep, keep your collection. Oh, I'd smash oh. it anyway. Oh. We won't be throwing it into the fireplace. Psych. <laughs> Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thanks to the awful plate. Don't try eating off that. It's solid lead. You don't want to do that. Well, now it's down to six of you. And each of you is, again, one step closer to $100,000. Tomorrow, we start all over again. That immunity robe will be up for grabs. 
I'm sure Hutch will be very interested to know that. I, I need it. <laughs> Tomorrow's a brand new day. So congratulations to all of you for getting this far. It's quite an accomplishment. Have a good night and get some sleep. I felt great about it. I felt like I had done something great for somebody. Matt? That I knocked out. Uh, right. The fall was real, and um, there's eight people, well now seven people in that house that want to be your friend for life and love you, and you deserve every great thing that's going to happen to you into your life. You've amazed everybody on this project with the size of your heart, and um... <laughs> Boom! Oh! Situations get sticky and feelings get stung. Molly gets a surprise visit from home. Dessert takes an ugly turn, and one cast member gets the boot for breaking the rules. On the next <laughs> joke... <laughs> The faces are. <laughs> the faces. I thought that episode was better than the last couple ones. I agree. It I, was. Uh, that was fun. I think um, it's a slower paced show. There's definitely more nuance to it. The yeah. actors are really good in it. Like, it's designed well enough that uh, even when stuff doesn't break down, it still has its own thing. But it's like a slower thing. You got to really relax and, and take it in. Yeah, the premise is what makes it good, not necessarily all the action. No. Like, because you're watching it on two layers. You're right. watching a show that's behind a show. And uh, yeah, Joe Schmo Show, comment below. Time Fo to go. Faux show. For show. Give me some more.